So we've all used AI in some kind of way, whether it is to write code, summarize information, or speed up our work. But the real potential of AI to change our lives goes much beyond this. So today I'm here at Huawei Connect 2025 to show you how Huawei is using AI at a much bigger scale. Here I've seen applications and AI infrastructure that blew my mind. How versatile AI agents are already managing port operations and even generating complete travel plans using natural language. How super nodes are being built to provide massive compute resources that power AI models. And also, I got to speak to William Dong, the president of Huawei Cloud Marketing, to learn more about how Huawei Cloud is transforming industries with AI. So let's dive in. So first up behind me, we have what's called Huawei Cloud Versatile, which is an enterprise grade agent platform to build and run agents. So AI agents are a way to connect AI to external applications, and you may have used them already, for example, to access some other apps to improve your coding workflow. So Huawei's versatile agent platform is essentially this, except in a much bigger scale. But rather than me telling you about it, here is Mr. William Dong, the president of Huawei Cloud Marketing himself to tell us more about it. Hello, William. So I'm really happy to be here at Huawei Connect 2025. So agentic AI is something that has become a really big part of the AI industry. Yeah. And here we have obviously your versatile platform. What is it that makes versatile new and different? Versatile is uh, our enterprise level AI agent platform for all kinds of uh, scenario, especially for the vertical industry, for the finance or for the power distribution, all kinds of scenario. We have not only provide agent studio that can help you to build AI agents, but we also have the AI agent runtime or AI agent ops and the agent gallery. So you can use this platform to manage it, your agent for your enterprise. You can put on this platform and open to everybody to use it. Can you maybe give a specific example of where it has been used and some specific results? In our Huawei, uh, we have used the Versatile to build over 600 agents. We have the travel agent, employee agent, contract agent, engineer engine, customer service agent, retail agent. We can use such like the engineer agent, help them to do the site survey and do some maintenance. And then they can use the contract agent to review the contract document is combined with our standards. A very good AI agent is a travel agent. And uh, we use Versatile to build this travel agent. You just mm -hmm. only need to input your workflow and your description of your job document. Then Versatile can generate all this program uh -huh. automatically. This is our travel agent. You want to book a travel to your company branch office, maybe in Shenzhen, okay? Mm -hmm and then go to Shanghai to attend this Huawei Connect. They can arrange all the trip according to your management policy, just according to which kind of flight, which kind of hotel you can book. I would okay. love to use this. As developers, this is something that we would definitely love to yeah. use. You mentioned that you have all these agents running in the cloud and obviously running big AI models requires a lot of computing power for training and inference. So yes. how is Huawei Cloud planning to meet this computing demand for actually running these agents? So this right here is Huawei's Cloud Matrix 384, which is a massive AI server that provides compute for AI model training and reference tasks. It achieves a staggering 300 PFLOPs of supernova compute, network bandwidth of 269 terabytes per second, and memory bandwidth of 1,229 terabytes per second beating NVIDIA's NVL72 in all of these metrics. The reason why we say this supernode is just one computer, we use the fiber network to interconnect every computer server. We can make all the MPU as a pool, all the memory as a pool, all the CPU as a pool. Sometimes you need for the computing is higher. Yeah. Sometimes you need memory capacity is higher. So based on this kind of systems, it's just according to what you like, and then we can provide for you. We have this kind of system innovation, and we also use mathematics to strengthen this physical limitation. Today, just Huawei, we can provide a super node that can support as much as 384 MPU interconnect. And in next year, we also will launch a new super node which can support as high as over 8,000 people in one super node. Yeah. Wow. 
and still will be the largest one. And in terms of inference, how does this compare to NVIDIA's H20? Compared with the H20, this is what shows that our inference talking service, you can see in the low latency inference, online real-time inference, near lines, offline, all these scenarios we are at least double higher than that. The reason is that on one hand, we have this kind of system innovation. On the other hand, we also do some innovation on our software part. We have very precisely measurement of the resource. If your input is a long context, our software, they can call more prefill resource for you. When you need the AI assistance to output the long context, you need more decoding resource. Our software system also can prepare as much as you like this decoding resource for you. And plus, our like the FDS, EMS, this kind of a software management systems, we can improve from the 1,900 tokens per second to 2,400 tokens per second. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I mean, speaking of models, should we now find out more about Pangu models? And last but not least, behind me, we have what's called Pangu models, which are Huawei's specialized AI models built for specific industry needs. So there are so many different AI models today, but what makes Pangu models stand out is that they are built for specific industry use cases, and they've already been used in 30 plus industries and in 500 plus scenarios. For Huawei Cloud Pangu models, we are focused on the vertical industries, and you can see that our Pangu models have already been used in more than 30 industries and we have more than 500 scenarios. We have these three decoupled layers. We have five foundation models. The NLP models, we have the multi-mode models, computer vision models, and uh, these prediction models, scientific models. Our Pangu models not only can speak, but also can see can hear. And uh, based on the, these foundation models, we have uh, vertical industry models. So our customers, they can build their models on the industry models much easier and much faster. And here we have an example for China Southern Airlines, right? China Southern Airlines need to have AI models to help them to predict one year later the passengers' traffic. If you want to forecast what happened one year later, they need to analyze about your history data. Their history data is not only just some numbers. They have some tables that have some text, sometimes image. We have provided them prediction models. So you input this multi-type data to the prediction models, and the predictable models will find some principles and then do the forecast. After they use our Pangu predict models, their forecast period from one year to one and a half years. And here we have some autonomous driving, right? Yes, yes. For the autonomous driving, they need to do the test. Normally, you need to ride on the road as much as five million kilometers. Normally, five percentage to 10 percentage is ride on the real road. Mm. And the 90 to 95 percentage needs to ride on the vertical world. In this kind of vertical world, now today we can use our Pangu multi-mode models to generate it. You can generate a car right ahead, like 60 kilometers, mm. to try to match the pre symbols in the physical world. Thank you so okay. much, William, okay. and yeah. congratulations for all your success with Huawei Cloud. This is all like super interesting for me and for us programmers, and I yeah, yeah. look forward to seeing what yeah. else happens. All right. Okay, thank you so, so much. I hope our developers, on my hand, can have abundant AI computing resource to use. Yes. On the other hand, they also have very good large AI models mm. and uh, AI agent platform to create their innovation. While we all understand that AI is powerful, I hope that this video has shown you some of the specific ways in which AI can actually be used to power real industries. Thank you for Huawei for bringing me here to Huawei Connect 2025 to experience all of this. Let me know down below your favorite technology from this video and what you think about all of this and I will see you in the next video.